Hey everybody, uh, well, I own a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta with a diesel now, apparently. But uh, anyways, because I don't want to fully turn in my man card, I decided, well, I gotta buy some Caterpillar uh, floor mats and some seat covers. You see here, I got the seat cover. One, uh, the driver's side seat cover installed. They're before pickup, so I might take some zip ties in the back and tighten them up. But uh, that's really all I could find for a best thing. And then I got these uh, trimmable Caterpillar floor mats. And uh, the driver's side one fit really good. I just cut it with a, a little uh, uh, utility knife, and it works really good. But anyways, I thought I'd take you along for doing the passenger side uh, seat. Anyways, I'll uh, get everything set up here. And, uh, yeah. Here's what I bought. I bought them on eBay. I think I paid like 30 bucks for that and like another 40 bucks for that maybe. I don't know. Anyways, let's put a battery, battery in the camera and uh, get to get to doing uh, do, do all that stuff. Well, I uh, figured better get the hardest part over with first. So we'll uh, put this thing on. Yep, pretty hard. Oh wait, oh, okay. Now really the hardest part, I think, is getting the seat covers on. That's already a bit of a challenge sometimes. Or sometimes getting the headrest off. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot, we're in a car. Gotta put the seat back. I got electric seats on this one. And I got a sunroof. Okay. Anyways, the, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the car. It's got 120,000 miles on it. Actually, 121.4 uh, miles on it, which I mean isn't too bad. I picked it up pretty cheap, uh, but I actually had a used car dealership. They did not know what they had. Let's put it that way. Uh, the lady was new there, working there. Was she was new, and her boss didn't know anything about diesel cars apparently, or diesel trucks or any of that. And so uh, he told her just to sell it because I don't know anything about diesels. And uh, well, that's where I came along. And uh, bought the car for a pretty damn good price, I think. I don't know what these things do. I don't, it's kind of useless. At least as far as I know. I think I've never put on seat covers before. Put this back on, I think. But yeah, pretty nice car. It's got no rattles or anything in it. Um, I need some tires, the rear tires need new ones soon. And, uh, yeah. They had it, uh, professionally, uh, checked up. Even though they're professional, they're professional, uh, put his greasy oil hands all over the headliner. So that's the first thing I had to fix on this car. Well, I didn't have to fix it, but, you know, this is like the one nice thing I have in my life. So I better keep care of it. It's my plan anyways. Hey, it's a licensed Caterpillar merchandise, so at least we aren't, uh, getting something weird from Russia or, or knockoff or any of that. Oh, come on, get in there. So there's gonna be, uh, pull it out here for you here. There's, like, these little things that, like, foam. You stick them. Got that over the top. I had to readjust the camera here, as you can see. There's gonna be these little foam thingies. Just kind of, you know, shove that in the crack of the seat, sort of. And then you'll kind of feel it when it gets stuck back down to the bottom. I'll show you here. You'll see right here. I don't know if you can see it. Car's kind of hard to see in. Anyways, pull those through. And then, uh... And I'm trying to get the camera set up again. There we go. That's pretty good. But, uh, now I got the bottom. No, I wish kind of... I don't know if what side which doesn't matter or not, but uh, yeah. And then there's a, on the, this is actually for a truck, like a Super Duty Ford or something like that. So uh, we probably won't have this plastic right here, but you just kind of shove that behind the plastic, and I think it'll work pretty good. But uh, you yeah, just gotta make sure you got this little strap out from under it. I think. Oh come on! Well, there we go. Pull that around. 
Man, some of this truck's pretty noisy. Oh, never mind. It's a, uh... Some sort of van. Rattling down the road. Anyways, take these little straps. Should be one on each side, as far as I know. There we go. Pull that around the bottom. And then you just kind of stretch them out. I'm sorry if I'm in the way here. But you just kind of stretch them out, you know. Just, you know, stretch them out. There we go. Yeah, I got that somewhat in there. And, uh, hold on. Let's put the seat up here a little bit. Slide her back so I can actually sit in here. There we go. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Seat cover installed. Now, I'm hoping, as uh, I sit in them and stuff, they get a little bit more form-shaped. But uh, as you can see, it's actually a pretty nice car. Oh, look at the Cushman over there. Next to Carl the uh, 76. Don't worry, Carl's not my truck, they're brothers. But, might be a video on that if you let me. Anyways, we got a knife out. And, uh, you know, side snips, just in case because I could not find a, a uh, little uh, scissors. And we'll line up these here. So, I'm gonna kinda push back. And then, um, we're gonna do our best to try and cut out this right here. A little bump, might go halfway across or something. Right across there, cut down there. Try and get around this piece right here. And then, we'll focus on taking out this piece after that's done. Or maybe we just leave it. Honestly, I might just want to leave that right there. It looks pretty good. What are we? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave that there. I think that's gonna, that's gonna be used. Someone's driving with me. We want to keep our uh, feet off that. But uh, yeah, we'll get my little knife out here and uh, I'll show you how to cut that. All right, got the knife out and. Uh, well, I'm a Boy Scout, so I uh, do know a little bit about knives and, you know, knife safety. Now, what you're going to do is not cut towards yourself, you know, but you're also going to want to be in a very bad position, too. Uh, come on. You see, you want to keep all fingers away from getting hurt. And sliced open. One because it hurts a lot. And two, I don't know, that's what I was told. Oh, there we go. See, got that little piece cut out. It cuts pretty easy, actually. I, I was surprised, too. Oh, there we go. That one's like perfect. Damn. There's a donkey. Alright, now, we're going to figure out what we want to do right up in here. Sorry if the shadow is kind of bad. A little bit. It's the evening time. Got home from school a little bit ago. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should keep that or if I should cut it off. I'm going to keep that in case I ever put these in something else. Keep it around. Anyways, uh, apparently... That's how you install a uh, full, fully customized Caterpillar interior in a 2009 Jetta Volkswagen with the diesel. Anyways, uh, that's about it for tonight. Sorry about the video uploading. It's uh, going to be a challenge with school catching up here and, you know, summer starting up. I got a job to do and, you know, got to make money for things. Anyways, yeah, she's uh, working pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to call the video here. I got one more to finish, but it's close enough. Anyways, I'll uh, see you all later.